The first Hummer I ever had on the show was an H1 wagon way back in the late 90s. Now that's when they still resembled real military vehicles. And then some years later, General Motors brought Hummer into the mainstream with the H2 and H3 SUVs before discontinuing the brand altogether over a decade ago. Now, with their abysmal gas mileage and supersized nature, Hummer became the poster child for American excess, which is why this all new Hummer is the greatest flip the script moment of all time. Yes, it's still ginormous, but there are zero tailpipe emissions. This is the all new fully electric Hummer pickup. A garden variety electric car uses a battery with an energy capacity of say between 60 to 80 kilowatt hours, weighing around 1,000 pounds. But when designing a 1,000 horsepower pickup truck, a weenie battery like that isn't going to do. So the Hummer EV's energy source needs to be considerably larger, over 200 kilowatt hours feeding three electric motors that can generate as much as 11,500 pound feet of torque. GM's homegrown Ultium battery employed here weighs more than some cars. So would you believe that this is one of the quickest vehicles I've ever tested? There's even an acceleration mode, cleverly called Watts to Freedom, that'll scare the pants off of your passengers and test your G-Force limits. Its width is a throwback to the original H1. It's longer than an Electrify America parking space. And with the air springs fully inflated, you'll have to get on your tiptoes to peek over the bed walls. There are an amazing 16 inches of ground clearance in what is called extract mode. So everything about the Hummer is extreme, just as it always was. With approximately 350 miles of range, the Hummer has one of the most generous driving distances in the EV segment. But akin to a GMC Sierra with an oversized gas tank, filling this Hummer's battery is going to drain some green. Fast charging through its 800 volt architecture is impressively quick. When plugged into a 350 kilowatt hyper fast charger and maxing out at a 229 kilowatt charge rate, the Hummer's been adding back as much as 350 miles of range per hour. But to bypass the typical 80% fast charge limit and get the battery completely full, that can take two hours or more, and the bill isn't cheap. As I wrap up my week with this Hummer, I'm left feeling that I've just driven something that was extremely revolutionary. I mean, it is magnificent and innovative in just about every single way. A brilliant idea by GM. And it actually seems like it's worth far more than its $110,000 sticker price. Throw a German badge on this thing and it would cost $300,000. Now, on the downside, this battery is so big that when I fast charged it the other day, it cost $60 to go from 25% state of charge to 80%. And even plugging into my level two home charger takes far too long. So battery management might be a little bit of an issue. And also, I hope this is an early build issue, but the wind noise coming in around this windshield area where the camera is mounted is very, very loud. So for some perspective, filling the gas tank of an old Hummer H2 costs about $110 and returns approximately the same driving range. So unlike the modus operandi of most EV purchases, the potential fuel savings of a Hummer EV pickup are more nebulous. Also, the charge port is located at the left rear, meaning the Hummer often needs to be backed into spaces, which with the many cameras isn't difficult to do, but it's not ideal. And yes, it barely fits in my garage with an inch or two to spare. This early build Hummer is a long since sold out edition one with an MSRP of $110,295. It's stocked like an Escalade with high-tech luxury features commensurate with its price. And to be honest, the Hummer is so extraordinary, the sticker seems curiously low. With dual motors at the rear, there's four-wheel steering, making the Hummer shockingly nimble and easy to manage in a parking lot. There's a new for GM Google-powered infotainment system, a plethora of off-road driving modes, exciting graphics and animations, and the highest level of Super Cruise hands-free highway driving. Everything is power-operated, including the hood for the front trunk, 
the tonneau cover, and the tailgate. The latter also featuring GMC's multitude of configurations and kicker Bluetooth tailgating speakers. Sorry, they just don't sound very good. The box is short but deep with a spray-on bed liner, electrical outlet, and LED lighting capable of handling 1,300 pounds of payload. The entire rear glass also powers down for carrying extra long items. Now, you might expect greater than 7,500 pounds of towing capacity. The Sierra 1500's lowest rated configuration can manage 8,600 pounds. But remember, the Hummer weighs almost twice as much, so it's limited in what it can pull. And I say almost because GMC still isn't sharing the Hummer's exact specifications about certain weights and capacities. And remember, when towing, it's best to leave room in the battery for brake energy recuperation, so keep it below an 80% charge. But the Hummer's more subjective matters are even more compelling, though not always perfect. The combination of jet black and light gray mixed materials throughout the cabin, also known as Lunar Horizon, is fanciful and attractive. There are bronze colored Edition 1 trim bits on the dash and on the seats, a glass roof with four removable sky panels that can stow in bags kept in the front trunk, and the design is uncluttered with only the gear shift and drive control knob on the center console. A bank of switches below the large touchscreen controls a variety of functions, including the locking differentials. The displays are vibrant with flashy animations as you cycle through the various drive modes, and distinctive topographical map designs cover the grills of the 14-speaker Bose surround sound system. But not all touch points feel of the highest quality. I'd also like to see a head-up display here and a 360-degree camera activation button located off of the big screen. And lastly, the EV-specific electronics are lacking depth. I'd love to see more power delivery meters and range depictions. With terms like watts to freedom and crab walk, you just know you're not going to be getting a typical pickup truck experience here. Not only does this Hummer look really cool, but it feels special and different. And that's exactly what I want from my EV. Exploiting this kind of unique architecture to include all sorts of really awesome features. Is it loud? Yeah, a little bit. Does it feel heavy? Well, you can definitely sense that massive battery weight in the turns. But the full acceleration experience here is unlike anything you could imagine. It can actually scramble your brains a little bit. The 18-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory Mud Tires are wide, knobby, and specifically tuned for electric vehicles. They don't hamper on-road ride quality either. And though they're not rated for severe snow duty, they seem to be doing just fine here in the heart of winter. Normal, off-road, and terrain comprise the main drive modes, replete with three levels of body lift, adding nearly six inches of ground clearance between standard and extract mode. All of this is controlled via a knob on the center console, which also houses the much talked about crab walk feature a slow diagonal movement intended for tricky off-road situations in which the rear wheels turn dramatically outward. But trust me, it sounds cooler than it really is. The other popular talking point is more headline worthy. Called Watts to Freedom, it's a launch control feature that adds big time theater to the entire process with special screens, sounds, and a vibrating driver's seat. Standby mode. Drive, it says to floor it. <laughs> that is nuts. With a squeal of the tires, zero to 60 takes only three seconds. Enough to cause vertigo for unsuspecting passengers, as I found out. The Hummer's motors are always ready to make mincemeat of just about any sports car you are likely to encounter. Unlike a regular truck, this EV platform feels a little stiff, but continuous damping control reads the road every two milliseconds to make astute suspension adjustments, so the ride quality is always plush. And though it takes some getting used to, the one-pedal drive here is aggressive yet precise. I really like it. 
with ample rear seat room for three adults, including in-seat cubbies and underfloor storage for the charge cable, the Hummer's packaging is as thoughtful as it is clever. But even those who placed orders for one when the bank opened back in 2020 may not see their own Hummer until 2025. Reservations are currently closed. Future trims will offer less capability at a lower price point, but when they'll actually arrive is anyone's guess, while the new Hummer SUV is also expected this year. If you can get one, the EV pickup is an exceptional piece of engineering and an outrageous, most unexpected path back for the Hummer brand. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.